Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Shopify domain error. But before we start, hurry up and check out these software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you fix this issue here, which in this case, if you're having problems with your domain. Well, in this case, first things first is you need to go to Shopify.com, log in into your account and access your store. Now from here, you want to go to settings at the bottom left and in here, you want to go to domains as we want to manage our domains. So first thing you want to do here is you want to make sure that you want to set the domain that you want to use as a primary one. So especially if you have multiple domains here, you want to click one of them and you want to make sure that you set this as primary. But obviously, if you only have one uh, domain here, it's just going to say primary domain here and it's going to be automatically set as it. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and go back in here. But then again, make sure to set your chosen domain here as primary. Now, in this case, the next thing you want to do here is you want to actually access or change a few things here. Like, for example, your DNS settings. So in this case, typically, you will have the option to uh, basically manage it. So just to give you an idea, whenever you're connecting your Shopify store into your domain, you have the option to basically connect them. So for example, I have this domain here that I actually are is I actually bought. So in this case, let's go ahead and paste it in here. You want to click on next. Now, in here, what you need to do is you need to follow the instructions. So if you haven't done it, you can go and click on the follow instructions here. Now, by the way, you can also verify the connection by clicking on verify. But as you can see, there are a few things that you'll notice here. So in this case, as you can see, some of the values that you have right now on your Shopify store should actually match what is actually indicated in your uh, domain or in this case, the provider. So in this case, since I'm using Namecheap here, I could go and click on manage and my uh, domain list. And typically, I need to go to the advanced DNS section here. Now, in here, I should be with the CDCM record, the direct record here, or the A host here, or in the redirect record as well. So, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and change a few things. So, in this case, first is going to be the A record. So, in this case, the name of it is going to be at. So, in this case, it's going to be uh, at here. So, in this case, you could go ahead and change this. So, what you need to do is... Um, so in here in your uh, domain, so in this case, you go and click on add new record and you want to add the specific one. So for example, if you want to update your A record here, you can go ahead and use that as you can see right now, A record. So in this case, you can go ahead and add the name for it. Let's go and click on copy. And in this case, you can go ahead and just basically do whatever you need to do here. So in this case, you can go ahead and add the required value itself as well. In this case, uh, you could go ahead and do this as you would. So by the way, uh, make sure to copy or basically uh, follow these steps or instructions that you see on the previous page. Now, once you've entered all the details here, as you would, you can go and click on check here to see your changes and delete the other one here. I want to actually delete this record here. So in this case, once you've added all the SIR details here, it should actually uh, fix a lot of things. But then again, uh, make sure to actually uh, provide all the details. Now, in this case, if you've successfully, successfully added or uh, added the details correctly here, uh, you could actually just wait for it to actually fix itself. So sometimes when you've actually, especially if you've added a new domain in your store, typically the effects or the changes would affect around 24 or the 48 hour mark. So sometimes it will not affect or in this case, uh, uh, directly give the update itself so you need to wait for like, like for a few hours like 24 to 40 hours and from then on if the issue still persists there's still a few things that you need to do here so in this case one of them is to make sure so in this case make sure that there are no redirect uh, conflicts in your store so in this case you want to go to your uh, domain here and you want to change a few things so in this case i would recommend you to visit the redirect domain section here so if you have any make sure to delete all of the, all of the extra ones here so that you'll be able to uh, basically um Make sure that you're not using uh, sometimes redirect or in properly con in configured or configured uh, redirects here uh, actually sometimes interfere with the connection itself. So sometimes removing them and re-adding it, re adding them again can actually solve a lot of issues. But first, try removing it first and see if that solves the issue. Now, if that still doesn't solve your issue, what you can do here is to basically reach out to support. So typically, the issues or sometimes the issue itself might be because of Shopify's uh, internal um, uh, capabilities. So in this case, you might need to actually reach out to support. 
So typically at the top right, you have the My Store section or your store, and you want to actually go to the Help Center. Now in here, it should boot up or open up a new tab, which in this case, you need to click or and click, uh, basically visit the chat section here, which in this case, you could go and request them to have a conversation or basically speak to a customer representative, which in this case, they will be able to uh, give you uh, instances or steps that you could do here to probably uh, solve this issue. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.